Hey everybody, it's Robert Dunn, the founder of ArtTop10.com and I'm very pleased to be here today with Rosalind Davis, wonderful curator and this time we are at this wonderful exhibition taking us on a journey in the future. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, uh, in the future is uh, Collier Bristow Gallery's 25 year anniversary as a gallery, a uh, dedicated gallery space for artists. So I had a, the kind of uh, the idea of wanting to celebrate both the past and think about the future at the same time. Nice. So uh, cool. I was, uh, it was basically this Talking Heads lyric. Um, oh, yeah. In the future. In the future. Okay. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It was a really um, prescient kind of song because it was done yeah. 30 years ago. It's older than the gallery, and it's setting out um, I, what now seems like visionary prophecies yeah, about yeah. where we will be in the future. And and so at the time, it probably seemed like you know tomorrow's world, like this okay. crazy yeah, place we're going to inhabit. And actually, we're looking at the lyrics. There were some that just seemed to very very much have a, a kind of coexist in reality and, and, and also not so they have yeah. a duality really is is what I'm saying. I love so. it. I love the idea it came out of sort of pop culture. I love yeah. the mix of high and low art juggling around, <laughs> one inspiring the other. Yeah, well, a lot of the work has a kind of, there's a, a bit of an 80s, 90s feel, as you'll sort oh, of see cool. as, as you kind of come through. Okay. Um, but I, I just really like the idea of, um, I was thinking about one of the lyrics was in the future, that there will be so much going on that no one will be able to keep track of it. Okay, well, that's and so very, that's a kind of really obvious yeah, one. We feel that way. We yeah, feel yeah, yeah, we, we do, exactly. But actually, you know, uh, there is so much in terms of our digital footprints, AI, yeah. uh, you know, our phones are kind of track mm. and trace. So yeah, yeah. But I was also thinking about how the artists are sort of tracking and tracing through their works different ideas or okay. and they're also creating repositories um, of information of thoughts of beliefs desires uh, things that they you know want to hold on to in the future things that are beyond kind of consumption and commodity so, so, um, so is it like a dream of a positive future or just a just a mm. <laughs> what, we've, what we've ended up in um, it's kind of both <laughs> it's, it's sort of there's things like relics and... Uh, okay, so there's sort of broken stuff from the past as well. Well, Tim Ellis's work is like an assemblage from the past that he's also creating future kind of components from now, okay. but yet the, the kind of final outcome looks like it's something from a very mystical age. Okay, cool. Um, so you know, Star Wars almost. Yeah. In a galaxy yeah, they, yeah. a long, long time ago. There's <laughs> quite a lot of kind of sci-fi fantasy sort of work in it, okay. um, but not necessarily in how you might traditionally think of sci-fi or fantasy. Okay. That sounds really good. Um, there's creatures from other worlds. <laughs> uh, there's aliens. There's aliens. <laughs> yeah. Nice. No, there's one. UFOs. Um, there are cages. Cages. I love the cage. So yeah, this is Dan Hayes. I love uh, the cage. Picture box. And again, sort of in this reception area we are at Collier Bristow Gallery, is where I try and set out a few of the kind of indicators for the show. So okay. the cage is... It's the a, cages. Yeah, well... Yeah, go on, what, why is the cage an indica indicator? Well, because what we might aspire to, which is the piece opposite by Charlotte Warren Thomas, which is a aspiration, is yeah, made of the gold. giant sort of gold So again, chain. they're facing opposite each other in conversation with the fact that our aspirations can be cages the things that well, we yeah. aspire to be or want in the future can be the things that will make us potentially pursue um, things yeah. that might not always be that healthy yeah um, so, so, so it's not meant to be a it is a very beautiful cage it's not meant to be a negative caged in future vibe is it or maybe it is no <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I guess it's the thing is that it's a container of information, it's a repository of okay. other things, it's a repository of life, it's a hamster cage. Yeah. Um, but also the colours reference RGB, it's a test card of when okay. TV used to yeah, sort yeah. of finish at 11. Yeah, no, uh, no So absolutely. he's consciously used those those colours Dan has um, in order to reference that and are sort of uh, more about the entrapment with technology and social media okay. And, okay. and things like that. Even before, you know, this is a 20 year old painting or so. so oh, really? Kind of just that's even how technology was so encapsulating, enticing us, and yeah. um, and 
you, there's another Cage in the Show, uh, which okay. is a piece by Kate Murdoch, and okay. that is much more in reference to where we are politically in terms of um, the three uh, women in a cage and uh, their bells, and so okay. uh, they're sort of indicating. It resonates with the sort of Times Up and Me Too movement of this alarm bell okay. ringing. Oh, I see. Okay. But that cage has a door. That cage has a door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, should we have a little? Should we just? Sure. Should, should we wander through while while you continue? Is is the is the cage on far away? It's not that far. I mean, there's also oh, well, say, say uh, fun things on the way just to, there. well again, it's another indicator that one of the underlying kind of questions we're asking is this one yeah. from George George Bolster, who's. Um, been doing residency with NASA and the really? uh, yeah check it out yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the Centre for Extraterrestrial Intelligence seriously yeah cool and he's looking to those scientists to really uh, ask this question of yeah. how do we plan the infinity of our culture let alone yeah, yeah. save our species um, and so again this resonates on different levels in terms of where we are within um, the landscape mm -hmm. of art at the moment which is incredibly under threat it's being yeah. decimated from education um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it works on both levels really I mean he's asking these scientists you know how do we how do we survive and actually culture is so again massively important to how we grow as yeah. human beings how we develop our intellectual capacities um, our kind of knowledge of the world uh, well, it's, it's, as you say it's kind of cool because you can't tell if the words are being sucked off into the end yeah. of the spaceship <laughs> yeah, or if they've the been dropped out onto the walls yeah help. it's sort of like which way is it traveling yeah I think it's very fragile and I think that's yeah. what we need to remember you've got the kind of aspiration the cage sort of in this in this reading of yeah. it and it's you know we need to kind of hold on to the, the things that really matter yeah. above and beyond consumption and commodification. Yeah. I'm going to stroll on down here to, to this, this, I always like this little sculpture. Yeah. Sculpture zone. Yeah, <laughs> sculpture zone. Um, so this is a, a piece by Ian Monroe. No. Um, so he made it site specifically for this, this um, okay. platform. And obviously it's the, the kind of the sims, it's our yeah. memory systems on our phones, it's how we track and trace but re deposit all of this information, all of our memories. Um, okay. But he's, it's a very interesting as well because he also uses the language of like the office, of this office, sure. in, um, of architecture. So you've got carpet tiles, you've got um, you know um, base units, you've got facts these pieces at the back here are fax, yeah. kind of em, em, uh, emblematic of fax machines. Okay. Again, redundant, deposit, you know, things yeah, that yeah. we used to receive and, and get information from. Yeah. So it's all of those references, just as well, things like the paperclip, which people have in offices. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. But what's interesting as well is that this work looks like it's very, you know, it's very beautifully formed and, and quite slick in that sort of materiality yeah. but he makes it all himself um, it's oh, all really? hand What's made it? obviously What's he uses thing? machine oh that is uh, I have Sorry, this no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, it's all sorts of things there's die bond and there's steel and um, and all sorts of, this is vinyl on, on aluminium die bond okay. um, very cool yeah and you know it's um it's using the language of this space in this space, so it's kind of... It's nice, it looks like it's sort of, you want to put it together. Yeah, yeah. It looks like yeah. I just want to create that right well, now. Yeah, <laughs> so they're modular, so they all can be yeah. moved around, and you know, you've got pie charts that kind of been made out of brass, and you know, it's, it's a really... Um, Cool Again, the paper clip was the first thing that we used to kind of collate information. Yeah, you know, yeah, put exactly. the, you know, and they're also going to be things that potentially redundant in the future. Yeah, well, uh, well, indeed, well, <laughs> we don't use paper. Anymore. Yeah, <laughs> well, in the future, you know, text will be so kind of um, uh, rare that the, uh, will, well, the written language will become an art form, which is Arno Beck's work here, okay. which has been created by typewriter, another redundant. Oh, is it? Very yeah. Cool. So it looks, it looks like it's graphic, it looks like it's, writer? yeah, typewriter drawing. Nice. Um, so it looks like it's, you know, um, again, something that's technically, mm. technologically been done, but it's been a very, very, you know, there's a lot of that in the show that's very handmade. Yeah. Um, and this is sort of codes and yeah. we've got the Mario clouds, of course. Yeah, I, know, I love that, that's uh, really good. Yeah, so, and then we kind of go through Where to the that? gallery. There's the other yeah. page. Like, oh, there's the other page, very cool. Nice. Those are those little um, uh, little bell doors, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So they ring. Yeah. yeah. Very so, nice. Yeah. 
And uh, this is sort of gives you a bit of a survey. There's obviously artworks in the art room that yeah. kind of explore different themes. Um, yeah, you know, in the future, everyone will be in love all the time as a reference oh, right. to, uh, I guess, the things that a that we want to kind of hold on to. Yeah. But was also a reference to kind of the narcissism of social media with Dina Voposky's work. Yeah. Um, there's again more work about gold by Charlotte Warren Thomas. Um, Paul MacArthur's sort of diamonds, this sort of uh, emblem of what yeah. love and okay. happiness is kind of, we have all these these kind of motives of what our lives should be about yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of thing, and that's the thing that symbolises it. So. I like this sort of uh, Barbara Hepworth that's landed on a, yeah, space, that's David a space alien. Yeah, oh. so David Worthington is kind um. of referencing sci-fi that he grew up with, and it's like yeah. a mix of Hepworth slash Spielberg. Yeah, it's a, it's a really cool combo. Yeah, and so, uh, you, know, the, the, you know, this little spaceship or something, you know. So I think some of those Hepworth things have a weird, otherworldly yeah. Yeah. Atmosphere to them anyway. Definitely. So, yeah, yeah they, they landed from another planet yeah, exactly. taking us there, I'm not sure. Yeah. but um, And then you've got, I love the phone box. Is that yeah, cool? the phone box is this Kitty Sterling. And cool. it's uh, repositories of information in her case. One of them is very much about a memory of um, her partner yeah. who died. Oh um, and it's him saying hello, hoo hoo, is how he used to say it. And she's okay. collated this greeting um, and put it into um, one one film piece. And this is sort of the other side of how poignant and deep that emotional connection is with that yeah. that voice and then wanting to hold on to things like that. Um, and then this other one is on the other scale of a total stranger sending her WhatsApp messages that she met once in India and that, oh, really? that it sort of, she sends her good morning, good night. And you it's sort of strange points out of that thing that looks quite... <laughs> <laughs> Fun to start with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's 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 a peculiar thing, and you've got the yeah. kind of whole eighties reference. I mean, I just also like the fact that you know, in yeah. the future there will be no phone booths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which isn't a David Burns. Yeah, well, no. Exactly. <laughs> the only phone booths we have are the sort of ones where you can, um, yeah, make phone calls these days. <laughs> well, I mean, with your with your mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's yeah, so this is this is an overview. Yeah. Oh, so is that that's this. Oh, check that out. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, so that's Kitty Sterling. Nice we have celestial diagrams from Alison Turnbull, who's going to be here to talk about talk the work as well. So yeah, because we're going to do a bit of a chit chat. Yeah, yeah. and Karen David, who's got this amazing installation in the corner. Oh, so uh, she'll explain that. Uh, yeah. It's a very interesting work with a lot of interesting background and story. Um, oh, it looks really good fun. Oh, the reasons Part of it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well she'll have to I tell you about that. Why, I know all about it. There. Yeah, it's an interesting, uh, yeah, reason why it's there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. It's, it's a really striking little um, spot. Yeah. Well, it's really great to have something that really makes an impact in that space because it's where yeah. you kind of come into, you kind of led down into the gallery. So you want something powerful, yeah, you know, yeah, that's absolutely. gonna not blend into the background. Yeah. Not that, that anything right? does blend into the <laughs> You know what I mean? And how have the, the resident lawyers responded to this one? They're really positive. Yeah. There are people saying, oh, it's our favourite show, and, you know, um, yeah. so far, but they say that every show, which is nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> got a mountain to climb. You've I know. Doing a I know. One. It's, it's <laughs> intimidating. Um, but, yeah, they've been really, you know, they've just really enjoyed it a lot. I just yeah. ha have had really great feedback, but, you know, um, which is fantastic. You always want everyone to enjoy it and not just, you know, an artist audience. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. The lawyers yeah, it's here. It's nice to have a... You know, they're sort of yeah. like, wow, what is this? Yeah, you know, it's very... Like, like it's very nicely yeah. captured population. Of, it's very punchy. Yeah. No, it's really I think. cool. Oh, I've really enjoyed it. And, and do you feel they've got... People have got this in the future vibe? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... Because it's, it's also, yeah, it's... You know, yeah. it's creatures from the future, but it's. Yeah. I think it's referencing both. I mean, you know, they don't need to to enjoy it, but I think hopefully yeah. people that have come in and just sort of not heard much about it have really enjoyed the sort of artworks yeah. collectively and yeah. how they work together. I think it has got quite a sort of future vibe off it. I mean, you've got these weird little sort of alien creatures. Yeah, that's John Greenwood. Inside words. here, like being captured, that I want to believe. Yeah. I mean, I keep thinking of ET phone home with the yeah, phone course. boxes. Yeah, yeah. You get those sort of references yeah. off it. Yeah. Um, 
it reminds me of all that kind of that sort of film mythology but as, as I say it's slightly more arty um, abstract I don't know but in a slightly different slant on the whole thing yeah I think it's quite fantastical there's nothing yeah. in here that is you know really representational in a way even things that look like gold that aren't gold um, you know it's kind of a it's a it's an illusion. It's a construct. Yeah, it's nice. Though. It's got. It's got. I mean, even over here, you've got sort of a lost in space yeah. feel yeah, to yeah. it. But it's nice. It's, it's, I like that mix of the. I mean, I'm obsessed personally with that mix of sort of high and low culture. Yeah. No, I and know. I like that sort of that slant on it. Yeah. That's no, cool. me too. And yeah. that's another George Bolster piece there. It's that's propositions cool. for the moon. So okay. That's where, oh, we're that's where we're gonna live. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Very nice. I like it. Cool. Right. Well, I think we shall launch into the uh, chit chats with individual artists, shall we? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, uh, we should recommend everybody will come. It's a fantastic show. It's really good. Actually, I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. I. It's actually my favourite as well so far. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's up until the 13th of June, um, Monday to Friday, uh, Collie Bristow Gallery. Cool. Yeah, so please, guys, come along and visit and like and subscribe to the channel and uh, click on at the end because you'll get links into the interviews with the artists. Okay, cheerio. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.